right now we were trying to gain truth and facts. And what we've gained so far is that the ATF should have never raided him like they did. Strong words from the family of Clinton National Airport Executive Director Brian Malinowski, who died this morning following a firefight earlier this week with federal agents. His death also coming on the same day agents released the affidavit, which paints in detail why they raided his house. Arneel Zarang reports on what the more than 50 pages of the newly released affidavit reveals and how the family is reacting to it. Hours after Brian Malinowski died from his injuries, federal authorities released their reason for searching his home Tuesday. Actions that led to ATF agents and Malinowski shooting at each other, injuring both sides. The documents alleged between May 2021 and February 2024, Malinowski purchased over 150 known firearms, many of which were then resold. Approximately six were recovered by law enforcement during criminal investigations. Undercover agents recount Malinowski saying at a gun show he was a private seller, therefore no paperwork was needed to be filled out for a purchase. Malinowski stated the customer just had to be over 21, end quote. On March 6, a warrant was issued for violations of dealing in firearms without a license and unlawful acquisition of a firearm. They say the search was done quickly and in secret to prevent evidence from being lost. An attorney representing the Malinowski family sent a statement after they read the affidavit. It says in part, we are obviously concerned about the allegations in the affidavit released by the government today. Even if the allegations in the affidavit are true, they don't begin to justify what happened.